What are the facts pertaining to? Your facts are pertaining to immigration. Okay. Have you done teleprompter before? No, I have not. Oh, well, exciting. It's going to be like Ron Burgundy. Yeah, start reading sort of once it gets to the top. Okay. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Government expenditures on illegal immigration totals $135 billion annually, while illegal immigrants only pay $19 billion in taxes. In California, illegal immigrants and their children make up almost 11% of the population. So what are California taxpayers supporting? Illegal immigrants receive $14.4 billion for education, $4.02 billion for healthcare, $792 million for public assistance, $4.44 billion for justice and law enforcement. $1.6 billion for general government services. $1 billion for auto insurance. Illegal immigrants cost taxpayers over $25 billion in state and local expenses. This amounts to $2,370 per legal California household. It's a lot of debt. California has the highest taxes in the nation. Six out of seven of the least affordable cities in the U.S. are in California. California is neglecting important infrastructure due to the massive debt of $1.3 trillion. Wow. What did you think of those stats? I was not aware of that. That's, really, that's crazy. Crazy. I'm a little uh, uh, lacking in like the uh, statistical facts of like uh, immigration policy and all that kind of stuff. Wow, that's a lot of money. I mean, I think they could spend it on other things. I think there's a lot of uh, political manipulation because they appeal to people's emotions and they don't appeal to reality. They just, here's an example that is gonna make you upset and then people go, I'm upset about that. I don't care what facts are, now I'm just mad. So I'm gonna fight it, I'm gonna fight against that. My view on illegal immigration is that if people are coming into the country they're coming here to work, you know what I mean? It's in to make a living. There's kind of like this unspoken contract that you, you come here, it's like the land of hopes and dreams, you work hard, but if the first interaction you have with America is a crime, that's not a good indicator of like the way that your relationship will be with America. What is the group like you're with or what is it that you guys are doing? We're not with any group actually, this is just for YouTube. It's more unfair, especially to people who have waited, who are undergoing the same pressures of the people who snuck in, but they're waiting in line. And they're like, I went through all the same stuff, I'm starving, there's, there's rampant crime, there's corrupt government, and I came here too and I've been waiting and you just cheated and you just cut in front of the line. because, And then you're saying, well, my family. Well, what about my family too? Did you know? 